Okay guys, so I thought it'd be fun to try and experiment with you while you're watching the video. This is going to be kind of weird and interesting. I'm going to need you to put your comments down below this video to let us know the effect it had. And it's all based on the work of this guy, Charles Spence. I'm fascinated by his work. He's the Professor of Experimental Psychology at Oxford University. And he does a whole load of research and experimentation into the effect of sight and sound on taste. He's done loads of brilliant stuff. Um, I'm gonna put all the links to all of his studies and papers in the description. So one of the things he looked at was how to make a crisp taste crunchier. And he discovered that as you bite into a crisp, if you play high frequency music, it makes it taste a lot crunchier. The next thing he did was looked at whether coloring uh, food and drink could change the taste of it. And he found that if you color a drink deep, deep red, it can increase your sense of the sweetness of it by up to 12%. Also, he answered that long asked question of why does food and drink taste so rubbish when you're on a plane? Now, the reason is, is that it's the loud background noise that basically strips away your appreciation of the sweet and saltiness of your food. But it doesn't affect the umami flavour, that savoury, almost meaty flavour. So that's what you should be focusing on, because that's unaffected. Charles actually recommended that the best thing to eat or drink on a flight is a Bloody Mary or just a straight up tomato juice. Now, the bit of research that I'm really interested in involved him giving volunteers four pieces of identical toffee. Now, two of them, as they ate them, they were played low frequency, low pitch music, brass music. When they were given the other two bits of identical toffee, they were played high pitch music, high frequency piano music. Now, when they were asked to describe the flavours they got, the tastes they got, the ones that were listening to the piano music, the high frequency music whilst eating, said that the toffees tasted sweet. But the ones that were listening to the brass music, the low frequency music, said that the toffees tasted more bitter. So this shows we're all a little bit synesthetic, that our sense of sound mingles with our sense of taste. And it led Charles to the idea of sonic seasoning. The whole idea that clearly the music that you're listening to affects the taste of the food that you're eating. So we shouldn't just play generic background music in a restaurant because it's gonna affect how we taste their food. But you can be even more specific and he started working with Heston Blumenthal and his team at the Fat Duck, and they developed this. It's called Sound of the Sea. As you eat it, you listen to crashing waves, and it brings out the flavors of the seafood, apparently especially the oysters that taste extra salty. I read also that Ben and Jerry's are thinking of providing specific audio tracks for people to have as their eating their ice cream, which could be interesting. Okay, so what's the experiment that I wanna try with you? Well, it's based on the toffee research. It was done by Charles Spence and his team, Heston Blumenthal and his team, plus some sensory architects and composers called Condiment Junkie. Now they've come up with two different audio tracks based on that research about the high, low frequency music. So this is what we wanna try. Grab some headphones, put your headphones on and also grab a cup of coffee, caf, decaf, completely up to you, and sip your coffee as you listen to these two tracks that we're going to play you now. And let us know in the comments below this video if the flavour, the taste of the coffee is different during both tracks. So interested to hear what you think. <laughs> 